Good morning friends, I am Neeraj Badresa from Atme Engineering College. Today we are discuss the importance problem of the function and limits that is unit number 2 in GTU syllabus. Now what is a function? So first of all we explain a function like this way. Suppose f of x is equal to sin x. So that means here sin x that is a function and whatever value of the x that is put here. So if we write if x is equal to 0 degree then we can write also sin 0. So value of the sin 0 that is nothing but 0. So if here f of x that is nothing but function that is f of x is equal to sin x same way suppose if you want to write 30 degree f of 30 degree is equal to sin 30 degree replace whatever value that is inside x that we can prove here so sin 30 degree the answer of the sin 30 degree that is 1 upon 2 like f of 45 degree we can write 45 degree over here so replace x by 45 degree so our answer that is sin 45 is equal to 1 upon under root 2 like f of 60 degree so replace here x x by 60 degree so we can write here is equal to sin 60 degree sin 60 degree that is under root 3 by 2 and same as suppose if you want to write or if you want to find the value of the 90 degree then function here 90 degree so replace x by 90 that means sin 90 is equal to sin 90 degree is equal to 1 so in this way we can find instantaneous value of our sine waveform that is 0 then 30 degree that is 1 by 2 45 degree that is 1 upon under root 2 then 60 degree that is under root 3 by 2 and then sine 90 is equal to 1 so suppose if you want to plot a graph for this sine wave function then it is look like this way here is 90 degree here is 180 degree here is it is 360 degree so function means any value we can find suppose f of x is equal to sin s we can write f of 0 that is sin 0 if f of 1 then we can write sin 1 f of 2 then we can write sin of 2 so using this basic set of theory we want to move our next question that is first of all if f of x is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x then prove that f of x plus f of 1 upon x is equal to 0 that means we can write here first of all our question that is f of x is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x so here this is our function like sine wave so here f of x is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x this function value that is change because of change of x of value suppose if f of 1 that is 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 1 suppose f of 2 that is 1 minus 2 upon 1 plus 2 now what we want to find that is prove f of x plus f of 1 by x is equal to 0 that means first of all we want to put x value that is as it is so we want to find here f of x value f of x value that is as it is so we can write here f of x is equal to 1 minus x and then 1 plus x now we want to find out the next value take here equation number 1 now we want to find f of 1 by x so here f of 1 by 
x so whatever value that is right here x that is replaced by 1 by x so this equation becomes 1 minus replace <coughs> x by 1 by x that means 1 minus 1 by x divide by 1 plus x here then here replace 1 plus 1 by x so our function becomes 1 minus replace x by 1 by x that is 1 by x here divide by here 1 plus x so replace here 1 by x that is becomes 1 plus 1 by x now this is our equation number 2 but if you want to simplify this equation then this equation becomes here take a LCM here no any values and then take 1 here here again no any value then take 1 here here numerator LCM that is x so this x multiply with 1 so x minus 1 LCM that is x then here x now check our denominator all divided by here 1 value so LCM that is x so x that is multiply with 1 so that is x plus 1 and then divide by x as it is now again if you want to simplify this equation then here x and here x that is both are cancel out so our final term for f upon 1 upon x that becomes here x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 now this is nothing but our equation number 2 now what we want to find f of x plus f of 1 by x so if we add equation number 1 and equation number 2 then ultimately add 1 and 2 then we find f of x if you want to add 2 equation second number equation that is nothing but f of 1 by x so then f of x plus f of 1 by x the result of the f of x is equal to 1 minus x upon 1 plus x so here 1 minus x upon 1 plus x plus sign as it is f of 1 upon x the result is f of 1 upon x is equal to x minus 1 upon x plus 1 so right here x minus 1 upon x plus 1 now we want to simplify this equation what we want to prove our answer must be equal to 0 now just simplify this equation here denominator contained 1 plus x here again denominator contained x plus 1 it is both are same so our denominator that is only x plus 1 so if we add our numerator that is 1 minus x here plus x here minus 1 now again we want to simplify this equation so here minus x and here plus x so both are cancel out here 1 and here minus 1 so again both are cancel out so above term that is only 0 divided by denominator term that is x plus 1 and finally 0 divided by any value our answer that is 0 so hence we can prove our answer so if you can say that if our function that is f of x is equal to 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x then we can finally prove f of x plus f of 1 by x is equal to 0 now we move to our next question our next question that is if f of x is equal to log x then we want to prove first one that is f of x y is equal to f x plus f of y and second that is f of x by y is equal to f x minus f y so first of all we write here second that is if f of x is equal to log x then we want to prove first one that is f of x y is equal to f of x plus f of y and second that we want to prove that is if 
x by y is equal to f of x minus f of y now we want to find first one that is f of x into y so first of all find out this value f x into y so we can write here f x into y here x that is replaced by x into y so ultimately if x into y the result that is is equal to here log here x and here x but this x that is replaced by x into y so ultimately we can write log this x replaced by x into y so using function suppose f of x is equal to log x then f x into y is equal to log x into y now we want to simplify this term this is log x into y so multiplication in log the result that is addition in log so is equal to we can write here log x plus log y this is nothing but multiplication in log we can take addition separately in log that is log x plus log y now check it out the result log x here log x we can say f of x so replace just log x is equal to f of x now here answer that is log y now just check it out here x that is replaced by y so ultimately reverse procedure here x that is replaced by y so our f of y is equal to log y so replace here plus f of y now this is nothing but f result of f x into y so hence we can prove f of x into y is equal to f of x plus f of y check it out this one this is f x into y is equal to f of x plus f of y so hence we can prove our first one now we want to prove second one that is we want to find f of x by y so just write here f of x by y so here x by y so here this one x that is replaced by x by y only so we can write here is equal to f of x is equal to log x then f of x by y is equal to log this x replaced by this value that is x by y now again we want to simplify this log x by y that is division in log so ultimately we can analysis or take a value that is log x minus y that is nothing but subtraction inside the log that is is equal to log here put here as it is x division that is replaced by subtraction here multiplication that is replaced with addition and here division that is replaced by subtraction so y value that is put as it is so answer that is log y or result that is same as here log x here log x so log x is equal to f of x so we can write here f of x now just check it out result here log y we have value of log x so x that is here replaced by y so reverse procedure here x that is replaced by y so we can write here minus f of y now check here f of x by y is equal to f of x minus f of y so here we can prove our both the result that is if f of x is equal to log x then we can prove f of x y is equal to f of x plus f of y and if f of x is equal to log x then we can prove f of x divided by y is equal to f of x minus f of y two decision that is must be remember multiplication inside the log put here addition and division inside the log put here subtraction now we move to our next question next question that is if f of x is equal to 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x then prove f of 
x plus y divide by 1 plus x y is equal to f of x multiply by f of y. So, we write our question first that is if f of x is equal to 1 plus x divide by 1 minus x then we want to prove f of x plus y divide by 1 plus x y is equal to f of x multiply by f of y. So, our main function that is 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x and we want to find the result of function x plus y divided by 1 plus x y. So, whatever value inside this function that is replaced over here that is replaced by x. So, we want to find this value first of all. So, that is function of x plus y divided by 1 plus x y is equal to we have the result here f of x is equal to 1 plus x. So, x that is again replaced by 1 plus x plus y divided by 1 plus x y all divided by 1 minus this x that is replaced by this value x plus y divided by 1 plus x y. So, our result that becomes 1 plus here x that is replaced by x plus y divided by 1 plus x y all divided by here 1 minus as it is no any x value here x then remember here x then remember this value x plus y divided by 1 plus x y x plus y divide by 1 plus x y. So, now our aim that is simplify this equation 